Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I uh, want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Capricorn this is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, in uh, this video, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their positions in the spread and the synergy in between them. However, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, uh, you have to go for a personal reading and to do so, check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as it is the end of the summer there is a, a summer end sale going in going on excuse me which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes service making it for a total of 40 minutes so that being said guys going for the tarot spread first this is going to be a four position tarot spread the first position is about the topic of your capricorns week the second card will be about the core of the situation the third card will be the challenges that you have to overcome for the duration of the week and the last one that will be the guidance that tarot has to offer to you so uh, let's see what you got here now the first card that will be the tree of swords so this week is not going to be i, I cannot say very pleasant all right because the tree of swords could manifest in many ways now in every tarot reader that you may encounter and they interpret tree of swords they will say that it is pain that it is suffering and to a certain extent that is true but the Tree of Swords is also about healing or putting behind um, a poignant experience that you had recently, mm, experience that is unfortunately irreversible. And in that particular sense, the Tree of Swords means that we have to face the truth, no matter how painful the truth is. That truth could be um, in any place of our lives. It could be from realizing that our partner in our relationship doesn't love us anymore, to that we cannot keep up with the work into our job or that uh, we do have friends around us that are merely using uh, using us all right or simply using us and uh, they are not real friends of ours etc etc the tree of swords regards to kind of sobering ourselves and realizing that uh, there are some celluloid I would have say realities, but not exactly realities, all right? Celluloid situations, which kind of, we made them or we thought uh, they will be very productive for ourselves. And unfortunately, it is time to face reality in this week and realize that actually they won't be productive at all. So what the card suggests here is that regardless how it manifests for you, because uh, an initial states of manifestation of the Tree of Swords, you may feel yourself extremely hurt by the mental cruelty of someone, the insults of others, all right, or the um, glimpse of realization that your partner in love doesn't love you anymore, you know, or uh, the cruelty of someone else. You got to face that truth and kind of acknowledge that this is it i mean it's it it is what it is and you you have to deal with it the way you can deal with it best but i like to advise my clients if we do have three of uh, sorts in their reading is that you do what is necessary you know drink through it sleep through it make sex through it if this is something that helps you you know keep your mind occupied so you don't kind of experience the despondency of the recent misfortune situation all right uh, it will be uh, the healing process is going to start and once the healing process of your thoughts start um, 
then it you will kind of like embark a, a phase of your life where you're going to feel yourself much more calm and this card is a card of separation as well separation what i mean here is, is that you're going to separate the truth from the false the true friends from the false friends the true love from the false love the true job from the false job the true co-workers from the false co-workers and the truth may not be of your liking but it is the truth and there is only one way to say a truth if there is a, a two ways to say a, a truth then this is no truth at all so the core of the situation is the five of cups or why this is happening now we do have a continuation here the five of cups points that uh, some old wounds have been reopened and under uh, an old wounds have been reopened uh, that could be uh, uh, we are definitely talking here about mental cruelty and insults now with the five of cups it could be a reminder of your failure from your co-worker you know a co-worker really takes on on the failure on the recent failure you had or the recent mis uh, recent misfortune you had and making you feel bad about it same thing could happen into one relationship for example your partner is abusing a recent mistake you did in your relationship and is mistreating you and being allowed to get away with it because you have the feeling that you own him or own her and that is not true all right you can really make a successful stand here and you can really deflect those um uh, those attacks but uh, the key to that is forgiveness and you have to forgive not to the others but to yourself foremost the the very least the five of cups here points that yeah you may have experienced a certain loss you may be losing at this very moment but that doesn't mean that you have to lose your self-respect so it's very important to uh, sustain as I said your self-respect and your dignity uh, the next uh, card is about the challenges like these are enough challenges here but the moon card points that this week you will find it very difficult to establish a, a clear perspective of uh, what follows next um, and this is due you know um, these particular up, not ups but downs should I say that way so what the moon card here suggests is that you may uh, fall into a state of fantasizing the worst or start believing into the doom and gloom that everything is utterly futile you know your job is going to fall into ruin your relationship isn't going to work out and this is just what you're going to make of it all right uh, that could be also a result of stress it could be also a result of not getting the uh, the treatment that you are expecting especially if we're talking about relationship or it could be the treatment that you are expecting or you are used to into your career as well very important here um, with the moon card is not not to take any irrational decisions all right because in this exaggerated fantasy uh, fantasy state you know you may do some stupid actions that you may regret furthermore with the moon card as a challenging card it is best you know to just go with the current just do what what the daily routines uh, kind of present you to do and don't think twice about it and the next card the last one that will be the uh, guidance here with uh, from Taro now the world card has only one thing about the guidance regarding this one you have to kind of like complete this process here of experiencing the truth and healing from it in this specific week because the world card it is a sign this card says that the next week something new is going to embark in your path and you have to be fully liberated from the poignant past experience so you can fully enjoy whatever new perspective will emerge for you soon and actually give um, you know a hundred percent of yourself into that specific direction the new direction here with the world card so uh, whatever you are about to experience here that is not going to be of your liking you know you have to do whatever it's necessary in order to reach a closure with it either this is going to be uh, 
breaking with an X uh, or burning bridges with an X for good or kind of like uh, closing a door in uh, one's career as well or just you know uh, bursting out in front of your family as well because they are mistreating you etc etc you have to kind of liberate yourself from the poignant emotions and the poignant experience from the past so that was the tarot reading for you Capricorns. Now let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say for you. Now the Lenormand reading is going to show a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right. So cutting the cards and the first one this is Sun, the Sun card which is a, a large amount of luck, it stands for large, a large amount of luck, a great success. Then we do have the home which stands for personal estate and home as well. And then we do have the key, which the key either opens or closes doors. So this will be a good week for you to, if you are to purchase a home or to reallocate yourself into a new, uh, into a new renting house, you know, to do that in this week because you are going to have a, a very good luck and success finding the home that you really want or, at least, or as a uh, event in general you will uh, stumble uh, upon a, a very good place that you can start making up a, a living. So that being said Capricorns uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018 and again this is a general reading or this was a general reading for the Capricorn star sign. This was not your personal reading. I have explained you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then you have to go for a uh, personal reading. And to do so, check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.